Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to have a quick look at the latest drivers from Titleist, the TSR series, uh, in particular the TSR 2 and the TSR 3. Now there is a TSR 4 as well. The TSR 4 is the lowest spinning model. Uh, it's not been typically advertised too much. They haven't had a lot of, um, you know, with TSI models, there was the TSI 4 and even the TS4. You didn't see a lot of them about. You may not see a lot of them about again. Uh, historically, these, these TS3 models, so TS3, TSI3, now TSR3, are pretty low spinning as it is. So, um, I dare say the majority of, of sales will be in TSR2, which is apparently the more, well, not, not, not as much spin now, but just higher launching model. And the TSR3 is the lower launching model. Now, I know with the TSI models, the 2 was, had more spin and the 3 had less spin. Uh, they're advertising them both as low spin now, so that will be very interesting, you know, to see the difference between the two. I'm going to hit both try them out, uh, they, they, you know, they, everyone makes these great claims every time they bring out a new driver, it's going to be longer, it's going to be better, all this sort of stuff. I mean, they're never going to bring out an advertising campaign and say, these are worse, go and buy this, it's rubbish. It's just not going to happen. So um, we're going to have a look. Everyone's been saying that it's really hot across the face. So, so you know, whether you hit it heel or toe or wherever, they're saying ball speeds maintained no, no matter where it's hit. So that, that's intriguing and that would be a definitely an improvement as far as getting faster ball speeds. I mean, you're just not allowed to. The rules have been there for 20 years. So, um, you know, don't believe all the hype about faster ball speeds. There may be if you're fitted and you can maximize your ball speed, fabulous. I think that's great. So, um, you know, it's worth noting that uh, on our way here this evening, we went to McDonald's and we picked up um, a McDonald's straw of a shaft, the 10 say 1K black. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. I mean, that's a standard issue shaft. I'm not gonna hit it in, um, in these models. Um, I just don't love the standard stuff. They, they do offer premium upgrades with Titleist, only in graphite design. So, um, I, Z, D, I are available. And one of my favorites, UB, it's available as a premium upcharge. Now, in Australia, in Australian dollars, um, about $1,200 with a graphite design, 900 without, with just a Macca straw in it. Um, so they're, you know, they're up there in price. I mean, the Aussie dollar's pretty low at the moment. So, you know, they present, um, as good a value if you're buying it worldwide. So all reports have been really good. I'm excited to hit it. I haven't, I've, I've just hit a couple of shots. I haven't really tested it. I haven't had a good look at the numbers. So we're gonna do that now. Um, TSR2 and TSR3. So I've got uh, TSR2 set in. I've lofted it down a smidge because it is a 10 degree. So I'm gonna try and get it close to nine. Just so it's comparing apples and apples. We've got UB6S, which I love. Uh, worth noting, at 45.5, it's swing rate in at D3, 3.2. So fabulous, I, I love that setup, I love the weight. Um, it, it's, quite, it's, it's quite elongated, which is not uncommon for these style drivers. Uh, very gloss black, I like the look of it. Um, I mean, I loved the TSI models. I, I had a, a TSI 3 in the bag for a while, but I did find that my Callaway at the time, Callaway Epic Speed was, you know, probably three or four miles faster for me. So anyway, we'll see how this goes. I've got Pro V1, so it's appropriate. FJ glove, repping the Titleist today, so here we go. First shot, TSR2. Well, it felt great. I mean, 
I do love the tightless feel. Um, 22 backspin, 100 miles, pretty good. 237 carry, that's a good shot. Wow, <clears throat> felt great, went great. What can you say, you can't complain about that, right? Yeah, it feels good, like it just feels good. It's got, it's crisp, if that's such a way to describe a driver. It feels crisp. Didn't get the, uh, the ball in the right spot there, a bit silly. Didn't pick up, that's um, inaccurate, I should say. As far as the, the club goes, if I don't have the, the ball in the right spot with the quad, It'll miss all the data, all the club data, but it's got all the ball data. Let's try again. Boy, oh boy. I mean, what can you say about that? Other than it's great. It feels like well, I did, I hit it right at the middle. So, within two mils, and that's not, you guys that have watched me hit drivers, it's not that common for me to hit them in the middle, right out of the middle. Um, it's confidence building, that's for sure. Now that I miss hit, it's a definite miss hit. And again, how's the shot? Let's see what happens with the spike. So it's, it's uh, 12 mil low, still 149 ball speed. Backspin spun up a bit. So, and so we lost a few meters, but still quite good meters, good yardage. For all my American friends, go one more, and that's uh, low again. I expect that to hook. Yeah, that's that. That's a bad swing, but LUB does that to me every now and then. To be fair, that is uh, user error. Yeah, way low toe, still 150 ball speed. So. There you go, even the, the rubbish has maintained ball speed. That, I mean, that's two bad ones in a row. Let's see if I can hit a, a good one to finish, say. Feels light, you know, the head feels light. Feels big, like it's big. It's a big head, but oh, I don't mind that. Like, it just gives you confidence, really. That felt pretty good, like that felt pretty close to the center. We'll see what that says. 149 ball speed. Yeah, five mil, five mil, but uh, pretty good if you ask me. All right, so I got TSR three. I love the look. Boy, oh boy, it's a good look. Now I haven't moved any of these slider weights or anything. There's a slider weight here in the back. Um, I've just got it set on zero. My last TSI three, it's worth noting, I had to get a 10 degree because it was too low spinning for me at the time, I felt. Um, and even then I had to set it in upright to get it to go straight. It wanted to go right and, you know, low spinning fade. So it'll be interesting to see. And then I also, I also had the slider in the, in the heel. So I had all these compensations in it, and maybe that's why I'd lost a little bit of ball speed with it. But this one, I'm just gonna set it in at zero. It's a much smaller head, you know, more, more tour looking, I suppose. Same shaft, same swing weight, D3.1, D3 this one came in it. Um, so I'm excited, actually. I'm excited to see how this is gonna feel, how the ball speed's gonna go. See if it's better 
or worse than the two. Wasn't my greatest hit, but it still felt good. It felt a little low. I actually thought it was gonna go way left, but it didn't. So I'm happy about that. Um, yeah, a little low heel. Two, three, one, fifty-one ball speed. Two thirty-eight carry. These carry numbers are good, actually, considering I played golf earlier today. So the old man's a little bit sore. Lovely flight, thirty meters peak, perfect. Right on numbers. That's out of the neck. That's that's a horror. Look at that. Wow. So I'm here saying that felt like a horror. We'll see how badly that was punished. What do we got? 147 ball speed. So yes, that dropped. Um, low heel, horrible. But it's hardly spiked on the spin. It's not too low. Um, it's gone down the middle. So look out, people. Look out. Here we go again. Hit that good, but it's a hooky one. Yeah. That's a hooky one. Uh, a little bit low in the face. 2 1, 153 ball speed, but a bit, a bit left. Okay. Not disappointed. I mean, if you have a look at the graph quickly, like nothing's really gone long and short. It's all, it's all pretty good thus far. And that's uh, about nine drives without one just getting punished. Now that's saying something, surely that says something. I've still got three more to hit, so pressure's on. Shocking. Heel again. Rubbish. Chuck it in the bin as far as contact goes. 10 mil heel, low. Two, three, didn't spin up. 151 ball speed and it goes the same distance. I'm getting a pattern here, people. There is a definite pattern. I'm hitting it all over the face. That's a typical GB effort. But it's just going in the same spot. And a little left, which I like. I like to see the little draw. I don't like when something cuts. Okay, let's see if we can get one in the center. That's how the toe is gonna hook. That's me. It's not the driver's fault. You know, my, my, I mean, there we go. It's uh, ball was in the wrong spot again. Silly duffer. Um, so ball speed never dropped, but I've hooked the pants off it. All right, let's go. What have we got? Five, I've got one more. Swarm the knee up. See if we can make a good swing. It didn't feel like the center again. So, you know, I'd love to see heel low, ball speed doesn't drop, distance doesn't drop again. I've got to hit another one. I mean, I'm, I'm not hitting the center with this thing. There's no doubt about it. I'm not hitting the center. I mean, you can see where I'm missing. And it's still going. Pretty phenomenal. I would actually like to hit one nicely, but see if I can get it to really launch. No. <laughs> you know, when do you quit? I'm still missing the heel. Look, it's probably worth noting it is 45.5. It's not my, it's not my ideal length. But this, this consistency, this consistency is ridiculous. 
for miss hits. Um, and I hit some with the two out of the centre. I think I've maybe hit one early with this out of the centre, but I'm just keen to get one out of the centre. That was closer to the centre. Little sling and hook. I wonder if that'll go further. Looks like it. Little low toe sling and hook. Interesting. I mean, let's have a look at these. Uh, let's crunch these numbers. All right, so let's look at these numbers. Um, I mean, it does exactly what they say. I'll, I'll say that categorically. It does exactly what it's advertised as doing. TSR2 is launching higher at 14 degrees compared to 12 with the TSR3. Uh, the TSR2 spun a little tiny smidgy more. You know, we're talking about 100 RPMs. It's, it's basically nothing. TSR3 I hit left, but I, I think I just hit it poorly. I'd have a look at the club data. Yeah, you see, like I hit the TSR2 closer to the set, like still low. Typical me, right? But both of the 103 miles an hour club speed, um, TSR2 saying not as efficient, but that's again, that's me hooking the TSR3. It's missing further left. But I just loved, I loved the fact that if we went into this table, you know, they're all ca good carry. Like there was hardly any difference in the carries. Um, you know, the, the TSR three, I did hit it poorly, but still the ball speed was 151. It's coming in at 35, so it's a little flat, but the two at 24, 70, 40, Descent angle is perfect. Peaking at 33, it's high-ish, but you know you could loft it down in a nine degree to be mint, I think. So those numbers to me are super impressive. Okay, so you, you, you've seen what's happened. Um, I've hit the drivers, you know, all over the face, and it's probably a great example, to be fair, of how good this thing is, of how good these are. The two felt nicer to me only because it was a little bit more forgiving and, and, and as to how poorly I was hitting the shots, but still the carry was up. Um, everything about this I, I really, really like. Um, am I good enough to hit the three? Maybe I'm going to do some testing maybe with my Ventus Red and see how that goes in it. Is there something in this? Absolutely. I mean. We've been fitting truckloads of these already in the first few weeks. Uh, they're walking out the shelves, off the shelves, <laughs> and with some really, really happy customers. So I think this is a huge tick for me, a huge tick. Is it going in the bag? <laughs> Surely at some point. Uh, is more testing needed? Yes. You know, definitely yes. I think they have done a fabulous job here. I love the look. You know, they're just real sleek. It's kind of like a, it just says Star Wars to me. It's got that Star Wars stealthy sort of, and I shouldn't use the word stealth. They'd hate me for saying that. But it's got that mean looking, you know, stance there, hasn't it? Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, love them, love them, love them, love them. I am going to pursue this further and, you know, could well be in the bag at some point. Thanks for watching. You got any questions, let us know. You want to book that tightless fitting, get on the website. Um, online booking is available. So book it in. Hope to see you down here soon.